What's good with your homies, man? It is Thursday. It is obviously past the middle of the week. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. We do have the most meta players in each specific position obviously ranging between two categories which is cheap to medium medium to expensive let's get into want to know where to get the best possible cheap reliable coins at your fingertips perfect new card what do you think Whoa. very nice look at that look no further than mmo exp link is down below top of description use code meta for five percent off if you don't know how the series works, you will get it as I'm going right now. So obviously in the top left corner, one usually depicts cheap to medium. Two obviously is the medium to expensive. Hopefully that makes sense. Sometimes I've actually made three. So it's mainly cheap to mediums comprising of two teams because there's so much cards, especially now with all these promos getting added. And there's a lot of objectives. There's a lot of SPC cards. There's so much meta cards right now in this current state of the game. And, you know, how much weeks are we before team of the season or months? It's not that far. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, I feel like so people that don't play right now. Start playing right now and you'll see like your team will be amazing, bro. Just before team of the season. So yeah, overall though, we do have our goalkeepers now. These are the cheap to medium goalkeepers. And overall, man, I feel like in time, you can obviously just always go to a icon goalkeeper. It's always the best shout because I feel like icons in this game just have like that extra animations. Like they just feel so much better than the normal average gold cards or even the new promo cards. Um, yeah, I just feel like icons have in-game like hidden stats. So overall though, I do think your standard Alison Katoa always does the job. Um, obviously, the Reese is irritating to verse. You got the likes of this runner, which was actually shouted from uh, a guy in the comments. Shout out to you, forgot the name, but he actually said this guy is very good. So, by all means, I'll add him. Uh, maybe he is a beast for some people. You know, goalkeepers are subjective, so it completely depends how you use them. But uh, I'm checking his reactions, is a little bit low. Maybe he's good in game though. It's one of those type of cards. We got Onana. I've always liked his gold card. And I feel like this one will be maybe just an ounce better. Uh, and yeah, man, we're going to move over to the medium to expensive. Now, there's no three categories for this because essentially it's only just these goalkeepers, man. Uh, they always just do the job, you know. A lot of people have Cassias and he is insane in this game. You can even take height out the, uh, the question and he still be insane, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like 89 reactions. He's obviously six foot one. Now... I've said in multiple videos past, I was like, goalkeepers, you need to have them tall. I'm not going to lie. In terms of a goalkeeper, someone that can have the reaction time and the speed animations, you know, just to save those quick um, shots is a goalkeeper in my uh, mind, is a meta goalkeeper in my eyes right there. And I think Casillas is a beast, solid, solid goalkeeper. And judging by his price, he is keeping that price up afloat. He's definitely a good goalkeeper. We've got the likes of Allison, Czech, Van der Sar, you boys already know. And we've got one of, I'd say, more, more underrated ones. It is Donnarumma now. A lot of people don't understand, but this guy is insane in game, bro. Decent enough reactions. He's got six foot five height and he has decent enough play styles. In game, he feels amazing as well. Has very nice links. So you guys can obviously uh, choose uh, which goalkeeper is the better one. But uh, let's jump over to the center backs though. Now, within this. Uh, thing I like to always add the evos right but sometimes it gets a bit too much bro like the EF is adding a lot of evolutions right now uh, before team of the season is especially so I've, I've tried to include the most meta ones you know I don't want to just include any evo um, especially if you needed to put them through like the start of the year evos that would basically be redundant, if that makes sense. So yeah, we got the likes of Araujo, very good. He's always been good. Buon Giono, I think like this guy is just an amazing center back. Someone that's tall, that shrugs plays, uh, shrugs plays off the ball. Very nice pace split if you had a shot on him. He's got amazing reactions and composure. So in terms of playing from the back, it's nice. Obviously, weak foot could always play a part in having a good center back. And I feel like five-star weak foot is nice. I mean, we look at the likes of this Bastoni, bro. And he is just a beast. Obviously, the best play styles for these type of center backs, anticipate, block plus, um, intercept plus is always the major, major meta ones. And look at his reactions, bro. 97. If you have him in your team, you know exactly how good he is, bro. So for, for by all means, I think this Bastoni is definitely in the top 10 right now of best center backs, bro. I'm going to say that straight. Um, if you have him, you're in all goodies. We got this Sule, which kind of is actually a very underrated one. Not a lot of people know. Uh, slide tackle plus on the greatest playstyle plus under the sun, but still a very nice reaction slash composure type of center back. And for someone so chunky and so tall that has 80 agility and 79 balance, that is an honest beast card, bro. Very nice right there for 300k. 
We got the likes of the two Evos, which can get five star skills. Um, obviously, if you put the normal Varan, which is how much right now? Currently going for zero, so he is price extinct, I think. And I actually have his gold, so I should put him through the silky center half, and you can get him to a decent enough pay split, 93 reactions. We always know. Excuse me, right there. Damn, this protein shake getting to me. But yeah, we always know Varan. Um, has always been meta, man. Uh, like, just the way his body type is in-game for center back. I mean, he's got 5-star weak foot, so amazing passing right there. Nah, in my opinion, this is a solid, solid center back. If you put him through silky center half, and if you can manage to get his gold card. We've got the likes of Kunde, 5-star, five 5-star five as well. You don't really need the skills, but the weak foot always plays a huge role. This might be one of the best evos in the whole game. If you can get this card, by all means, get it, man. Trust me. 91 reactions, amazing defending. Jockey and block plus... This is, and especially the way he runs in game, his running type, like that hunchback type of guy that just collects anything, bro, intercepts everything. Trickster as well, what is this card, bro? Nah, this is a solid center back right there, man, definitely in top 10 of evos for sure. We got Nesta, which I've included as the best valued one, uh, obviously 5 star weak foot, so I'm, I've got him in my team and he is a beast, I can't lie. Sometimes lacks a little bit of pace, I think it's the pace split, but if you add a shadow, um he's decent enough trust me man and he's got bruising uh, obviously slide tackle plus not the greatest under the sun but i feel like for oh uh for under 200k that is a beast price man and he's six foot two so yeah we got the likes of the bench players right there which is still amazing cards man we've always known lucio van dyke is amazing konate have always added him company which is kind of funny because if you look at this company right and i think it was if you compare him to the other one it's not major difference right or am i tripping I think there is a major difference. Wait, yeah, there's a... Uh, sorry. I was saying between these two, yeah. So you can essentially just use this one for better value um, aspects. But this card is a beast, man. He's always just been a solid center back. Like, kind of like a better Van Dyke gold, per se. Anticipate Plus has got very nice um, pay split. 92 reactions. Very, uh, company is a very nice shout, bro. I've got like so Ferdinand. Anticipate uh, Plus is always a huge role. Um, and especially better than Blanc now. Because he's a little bit more nimble, can turn at least, and he's a little bit faster. So, by all means, get him in your team if you want to upgrade Blanc. We got Yoshida, we got Gomez, which is an Evo. Now, this Gomez, you've got to put him through weak foot peak and silky center half. So, it's a little bit of a weird one. Uh, he gets to 5 star, 5 star as well. Um, I feel like any Gomez card right now is at least an A-tillers card. Decent enough center back, very good value. Uh, so, if you can get him as an Evo, he will be fast, quick. And yeah, very nice center back right there, man. With the likes of some of the other cards, like I said, Konati was good. Kim Pembe, very nice um, price as well for what he depicts. Yeah, very nice center backs. We got the likes of the next category, which is sorry, the next subcategory. Medium to expensive now. I don't really need to just sit here and explain why all these cards are great. So you can pause the screen, see who's good and who's not. I try to include everyone, bro. Um, obviously try to not include too much team of the years throughout this whole video because it's kind of redundant to explain why team of the years are meta and they're just always going to be meta so yeah those are s tier guaranteed cards but i feel like in this uh, category not really that much center backs to uh hit home to say that they're medium to expensive you know they got the likes of these rudigas we got tomori i mean saliba's always been great akanji as an evo is just a beast uh we got this varan which is not actually a evo this is his better version that got included in the um fat birthday promo so yeah very nice card with enemy tau blanc cannavaro now a lot of people might actually not know that this cannavaro is small yes but he is a beast i mean in terms of actually winning the ball in the air he has aero plus so he's actually kind of good in game and i do like this card um, I've used him a couple of times, but I won't lie, it's nothing to hit home with. I would say there's better options out there, um, especially for the price, maybe. Not really, actually. It's kind of cheap, bro. It's kind of cheap, not gonna lie. So, yeah, in my opinion, that kind of is actually nice. You just need to know how to use those small center backs, if that makes sense. But, yeah, we got Blanc. Speaking of the devil, <laughs> we got five-star weak foot. Uh, anticipate plus very nice pace man Blanc this version especially will just be a beast we always know that I feel like he just has much more aggression right now uh, compared to his base and we've versed his base a lot of times to know that so yeah we're gonna like uh, jump into the fullbacks and I think this is where it is it's becoming a little bit OD ladies and gentlemen it is three categories for fullbacks obviously one category for the medium to expensive and then two for the cheap to medium now fullbacks kind of depicts like you need to be fast 
offensively good, um, decent passing, you have decent enough play styles, I'd say whoop pass is nice, even rapid would be nice, you know, just to be very quick and have that um, kind of like comp uh, components, um, like a car, <laughs> it kind of encompasses like you need pace, bro, do you know what I mean? So essentially these cards all have pace and they all have decent enough play styles, you can pause the screen as I said, you can choose which ones are good, but if I were to pick like the greatest ones right now, Grimaldo, Beast. Look at this Dix card, bro. Pause. No DD. <laughs> Five star skills, right? If you did this card now, that's actually, I'm very, very irritated because I don't know what would be good and what would be not uh, good, like in terms of objectives, because you can actually improve them with Evos, bro. So I'm going to try and do every objective right now, because look at this version of this card. If you have Dix in your team, get him through skilled wing defense too, if it's still available. You can get him to a 5-star skills, long throw, whoop pass plus, normal whoop pass as well. So this ball is going directly on the guy's head, bro. Um, we got amazing dribbling for a right back. This might be an S tier right back. Do you get what I'm saying? So there's a lot of Evos. Uh, we got obviously Chilwell that was in the... Um, what is it? The showdown. But um, yeah, overall, man, I do like my Udogi as well. I have his less version. Didn't even complete the full one for 90. So he's a great card, man. Pedro Paro, what great value. Now, he's better value than like the Reese James. Um, I would say he could even be on the similar level as Reese James. He's insane in game. Every time I play him, I get irritated versing him because he's just everywhere, bro. Um, very nice interceptions, fast. Um, warp pass as well. So yeah, he's a beast. And then we got the likes of, obviously, Jordi Alba goes. And, you know, the new cards that got included, they have a little bit better um, stats. You know, they, they play a bit better because, essentially, they're more relevant in terms of meta. Svava, that was obviously the um, the defender one upgrade from the Evo. We got Carl, very nice value. Davies, decent enough, still, I'd say. And, yeah, Captive Bia, obviously, through certain Evos as well as uh, Alex Telles. But um, yeah, overall, man, very nice, solid right backs and left backs. Let's move over to the second category, which is actually the same. It's the cheap to medium still, because there's so much like fullbacks that I had to include a second category, bro. We got Leticia. You can move her to right back. I think this Evo could be expired though. If you go FS glow up, I think it is expired. You could have got it to a 90 rated center back that goes to a right back, in my opinion. It's a little bit more meta at right back because center back is small. Do you know what I mean? You don't want a small center back. I was saying Cannavaro is good, yes, but to each their own at the end of the day. So you can use that right back. She'd be a beast though. And yeah, there's a lot of other cards right now. Like Di Lorenzo, Evo, we got um, obviously Weyer, Asinion, Lewis, uh, Rico that is. We got obviously Hector Bellerin, which is in our objectives. We got Bowie which I do actually think is my personal favorite. Five-star skills. He moves so swiftly on the ball, kind of like a cheaper Quadrado, can I say? So yeah, obviously I had to include him as the dreads, right? They've got Buchanan, which if you've played FIFA back in the olden times, bro, <laughs> man said olden times, you would know Buchanan is a beast. Now he is a right wing, right? You can actually move him back to right back. I'd say do that because he would be a little bit better because i mean you use your right back as an overlapped fullback let's be honest so essentially he has quick step whoop pass can also go back right there because of the high high um not the best defending but if you add a shadow on it it's a little bit better you know what i mean it's unconventional but i'd say it's meta it's a solid card bro at the end of the day five skills it's gonna move nicely do you know what i mean it's kind of like having a cheap op gold uh, sorry, not gold, uh, silver card back in the day. So, yeah, we got Maitland Niles as well. Um, yeah, very, very nice right backs and left backs. Seldilia, Molina. You know, you've obviously played champs, you'd know these cards are great. Uh, they just have amazing play styles, very nice pace. So, yeah, we got the likes of the medium to expensive fullbacks, though. These are the cards that, you know, separate the boys from the men, bro. Let's be completely honest. These are the S tier cards and S tier only, in my opinion. Maybe one or two, maybe not S tier, you know, like a Scott uh hakimi tavernier but the other ones are all s tier bro straight up just amazing cards in in general man like they can play anywhere literally put them at right wing left wing they still do a decent job uh we got likes of capita you know mendy rolfo karchawi especially both versions of her um you can choose the five star skills or the five star weak foot i feel like more people chose the five star skills because they want to like move much more swiftly and you know kind of get that like skills in the mix you know imagine doing a five star skill like elastica with the kachawi bro it's it's done bro ggs you've won the game rapid plus technical plus i hate versing this card ea has absolutely made this card accessible and i hate it 
because she's so good in game everyone has her uh same thing with quadrado man if you have both fullbacks you're doing well in terms of meta let's just say that but obviously we know team of the years are there um zambrata we got this akimi which is a evo right you can put him through the down the right side evo and he becomes a i'd say decent enough uh, right back man you add a shot on him and he has a 99 pace split everything decent enough defending very very nice um obviously dribbling i'd say decent enough but yeah that's good fullbacks man you know at the end of the day you want to have a fullback that is fast that encompasses the meta and yeah we're gonna move over to the midfielders man i'm struggling right here bro why that pro teacher gave me so much gas bro hey, yo let's move over to the midfielders though and now we've got three categories two obviously for the um cheap to medium and one for the medium to expensive now we got this tamiz or tamizy however you say his name five star weak foot you can put his silver card which is probably extinct as you can see man i know this game too much you can put him through that though the radioactive precision he gets a 90 rated cm someone that has very very nice just b stats bro amazing agility and balance for someone that's i'd say more or less a lanky player you know shot power finishing needs some work you can obviously obviously add a chem style to boost that 99 stamina add a shadow on him and he becomes a beast bro 91 rated cdm he is like a ball winner at best very very nice card right there i'm giving you guys the tricks bro do you know what i mean kobe mainu ah what a player is playing for england playing for united he's becoming like pogba in his prime bro and he, he he plays so good and he's only what 19 years old kobe mainu is a beast man honestly not even just giving off like united bias he is a beast any team would want him let's be completely honest right there and look at that play styles bro if you did come minus welcome to evolutions in the start of the game just know you have a card in your hands at the end of the day you can still get his normal like cards without doing the welcome to evolutions but it's a lot bro i won't lie i just wish ea can add a um a promo card for him that you don't really need to go through evos because it's a lot of work bro end of the day though if you really want a minor card you have to go through evos you can get him to at least above 87 and you can get a decent enough card i'd still say he's meta man there's a lot of these type of cards i didn't include every evo but yeah we got richardson evo we got stanway which is a fat fantasy that gets upgraded and she is so good bro in this game something about these type of cards that is just so meta like those smaller more nimble midfielders like a puteas like a shavi you know someone that's just moves just swiftly on the ball and she is insane same thing with marjorie as well very very similar cards but her card is insane bro she almost has a 90 pay, um a 90 club which is everything above 90 do you know how insane that is that used to be so so good like back in the older fifas i remember nine golan had it everyone was going on about that card we've got a card now that almost has it that's eighty six thousand coins where are we in fifa bro this is crazy stuff we got burkham very nice cams same thing with royce we got casimiro now that card is insane he's kind of like a better milinkovic savage speaking of milinkovic though i did include him here as you can see we got a couple of the other cards and i've upped the price for these cheap to medium i'd say medium prices are now about 500k so you will see some expensive cards like marquiso gerard which is especially this stage of the game i'd say medium price bro a lot of people have coins now man yeah we got the likes of mckinney which is in the objectives still very nice card and yeah overall man very very nice solid cdms cms and cams i mean this schneider card was like 1.5 mil dropped down now to 400k there's just so much like supply and less demand so these cards plummet in price essentially very nice you got guijaro as well which is a beast five star skills um technical plus you can obviously put a if you put it through that pick it up eva which was included like two three months ago or a month or two you can get her to secret stuff to 94 and she would be insane kind of like a team of the year bro but yeah, we're gonna move over to the second category which is still cheap to medium but it's just more of the insane cards bro and i've obviously capped it at 500k or just a little bit above and essentially we got the likes of the shavi i've always said he's great don't really need to go through him we got bernardo silver which is someone that i hate versing i don't know if it's just me i don't know why he's still so good maybe if he had one more card he becomes the s tier bro that's how good he is in game uh, we got zanetti not really a cm but in game you can move him there and he will be great zairi emery 
Drop down to 450 five star skills, technical and press proven. The ball relentless as well as the ball retention will be amazing, bro. The off the ball movement, everything, this card is just meta, bro. End of the day, if you want a solid CM, get him in your team. He is a beast. But yeah, we got Valverde, Gioro, Ramirez. I mean, this Ramirez dropped down to 420. Very nice number. No, I'm joking. I don't even smoke. What am I saying? Claudio Pina, we got Keen, uh, Chalenoglu. We've got the likes of McAllister and Clark. Um, it was uh, Evil, uh, sorry, it was Showdown cause that I'd say it's decent enough at CM. I, I've heard sometimes them, and then I always play Liverpool past and prisons, and they always have those cards, and they're kind of good in game, man. They like clean up the floor, kind of like cheaper Sawas. But yeah, let's move over to speaking of Sawa medium to expensive cards and these are amazing midfielders now i didn't include your team of the years bro obviously not everybody knows they're great i didn't include like your root hoodlets um i included some of underrated cards you know like this makalele bro obviously is not underrated everybody knows he's great man come on like at the end of the day this card is 750k you would know he's great but yeah, you won't see the likes of like a pele as he done you know they're all great bro i just had to include this parallel though i feel like Ugh, bro, I, if there's one card I want, right, at midfield, it's a Pirlo, bro. A five-star skills, technical, five-star weak foot, inside surpass, playstyle plus card. It's this card, bro. This is just a insanity, bro. This is insanity, bro. End of the day, this card will move like, like butter on the field, bro. What a beast. Exactly how he played in real life. Nice card, man. Very nice. And judging by his price, he looks amazing. We got Schneider, he's better version. We got obviously Kimmich. Can still get upgraded depending on how Bayern do in the mix compared. Oh, sorry, versing Arsenal. What do you boys think about that match? De Jong, Rice, very nice cards. This De Jong, bro, as well. What a beast, bro. Five star weak foot. Incisive and anticipate. So he's more or less, um, more or less a very defensive minded CDM. And can still go up the field. That is an insane card. S tier for sure, man. But yeah, that's the midfielders. Tell me who's your favorite. I actually struggle a lot against this Kaka, by the way. He is a beast in this game. What I like about him is he's tall. And he has rapid plus. So the way he moves on this game. Imagine he had rapid plus as well as technical plus. It's over for everyone, bro. Because that running styles will be insane. Still a very nice card, man. I do like him. And he's very fun in game. So yeah, definitely get him in your team if you have the coins. I mean, it's Kaka, bro. End of the day. Um, but yeah, just don't let speed be on the field with him, bro. If you know, you know. <laughs> but uh, we got the likes of left wing slash right wingers that are the cheap to medium now. Obviously, Atinia. Just such a beast. I hate versing her still. She's just so small, moves so fast. Yeah, end of the day, man. These cards all have amazing pace. That's the main thing. And amazing play styles to accompany the pace you know a rapid plus a quick step plus a technical plus um etc etc so this card is very underrated though it's this mcmanaman steve mcmanaman man i feel like in game a lot of people can use this card when i verse him bro he just feels insane chip shot and technical plus but the way he feels obviously not the best finishing but you don't really need finishing for a winger unless you're using them as more or less a striker I feel like with the wingers, you just need to have them fast, nimble, just move very swiftly on the ball, and can at least make the pass. So these are all cards that have that in my opinion. And if you want them to shoot, they can still shoot, you know what I mean? I mean, this Yungming Son is a Evo. You can get him through secret stuff, 5 stuff, 5 stuff, finesse shot, and technical. Now, obviously not the best dribbling or passing, but you can always add a camp style, like a marksman maybe. Um, Let's see. Marksman's not bad. Why do people add an engine? Obviously, to make him turn. Fair enough. An engine is perfect for him. I mean, you can get that card. Well, how much is on? He's currently 10,000 coins, and I don't know how much the Evo is. Can we actually check that? Um, Secret stuff. The secret stuff is still available. It's 200,000 coins now. I'd say that's still decent enough priced. You're basically spending 210,000 coins to get a 5 star 5 star son. That's decent, bro. I'd say that's decent, man. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, we got the likes of, obviously, Gulli, Swanson. We got this Rashford, which finally we can have a Evo Rashford. Rapid plus. Amazing stats everywhere, man. End of the day, he does have some cons, though, like balance, stamina. But I'd still say for Evo... That's nice, bro. That is nice. That's hot. That's hot. We got the likes of cheap, cheap, just beasts, man. Mares, five star, five star. We always know how good Mares is. And he needed to have technical and first touch because that's literally his 
That's the epitome of Mars, bro. That's his stats. That's how he plays in real life. I mean, look at this card, though. That is insane. Look at that stats, bro. That is solid stats, man, all around. Unique body type as well. That is a solid card. For 50k? I'm probably saying maybe because of the league that he's in, but that is still nice. Um, we got Lorente, which can actually be included in the midfielders, but I included him here as well. He can play that role, especially five-star skills. We got Mallard, we got Felipe Anderson. A lot of people love this card. Um, and especially for his price, there's just so much of these cards right now. So if I've missed out one or two, please leave in the comments. We got the likes of Furek, uh, Perez, Pulisic, Ginola, bro. When have, in FIFA have we had, especially at this stage of the game, a 300,000 coin Ginola? Five star, five stars, technical plus. Nah, this card is solid. And he has in-game stats that just makes him amazing, bro. This card in the start of the game was like 10 more. So yeah. Um, we got the likes of the next category. It is sub category, sorry. The medium to expensive wingers. Bro, I don't need to sit here because this... Just looking at this page is doing my head in, bro. How much great cards have you versed in champs that just irritate you? I'm not going to lie. In terms of best, I hate versing best, bro. I don't know what it is. Every time I play him, I kind of feel like EA is laughing at me because I didn't do his card. As a United fan, I should have done him. But he is insane, bro. Every time I play him. Same thing with Ribery. We're going to see him a lot of times now. Because he is an uh, SBC. And people are probably very close to completing him now. I'm actually going to do that card for sure, man. 1.8 mil is a crazy uh, price. But especially now, you can acquire so much fodder. Fair enough. The likes of the bench cards. It's just amazing cards at the end of the day, bro. Better Ginola in SPCs. We've got Felix. And that is probably the best Evo out right now. Even though it's not an Evo, it's a showdown. But you had to move him through Evo to get this specific version. And yeah. End of the day, these cards are just great. Insane. Have I missed one or two? Um, and I haven't included, obviously, your team of the years. Please, I have to say that the whole time. Because some people will be like, Mike, where's Hansen, bro? How can you include, include Mudrik but not Hansen? So yeah, hopefully you guys get the gist of it. But um, yeah, amazing card and amazing stats. That is a beast card. I feel like Mudrik has always just gotten like insane cards in this from the time he's been playing in Chelsea. But yeah, let's go to the strikers though. Very last category. And he's obviously going to be three categories. As I said again, two pages for cheap to medium. So yeah, we got the likes of Zola. 500k now, dropped in price. We got Sanchez, right? New cards got included, insane. You can choose the five star weak foot or five star skill moved versions. We got this Larson, now check this boy. This Larson can actually get a Evo card, which in my opinion could be better than the 90 right now. So you get his, I forgot that version of Icon. You get that 88 and you go through secret stuff. He has technical plus, that's the main thing. With that stats, now, 84 balance, you just add an engine. And you got yourself a 90 rated striker with 5 star skills and technical plus. That's like a cheap um, Ginola. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, without the weak foot, but that is a solid card, bro. End of the day, these cards will all perform for you. Um, you don't also have to look at stats, because icons have hidden stats, as I said. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, we've got David Raspadori. Bro, there is so much 5-star skill move plays, it's doing my head in. So much 5-star, five 5-star five plays as well. That used to be a very sacred thing in FIFA. Um, we got that famous saying from Danny uh, Ahrens. Um, something about world peace and 5-star, five 5-star. Five Do you know what I mean? And now everybody has 5-star, five 5-star, five bro. All we need now is the world peace. <laughs> but nonetheless, we've got Berbatov. We've got the likes of Mr. Roy. I love this Berbatov card, bro. If you're a United fan and you need a past and present United player, this is your player for you, man. Technical first touch plus amazing stats all around. 77 stamina, not the greatest, but in my opinion, Adam is straight up Hunter, bro. What a card for five star skills, Berbatov. Fair enough, EA. Does he have first touch? He has to have. Because he had the best first touch in, in Premier League football, in my opinion, alongside like Mares. We got Ronaldo Evo. 81 pace now, not the greatest stats, but I feel like in-game Ronaldo just has insane stats everywhere, bro. Like, he just feels amazing in-game, and him having 5-star weak foot helps a lot. So, if you add, like, something like an engine, um, you can boost his... I think you want to boost his pace a little bit more, so you gotta add, like, a hunter, bro. End of the day, solid, solid beast card. Um, we got Muwani now. Nobody's used him, he isn't uh, objective, unless you've reached him too there. But I'd still say he'd be great, so I had to include him still. 
Midima, very nice. We got Dybala. Everybody knows he's great. Drogba is 180,000 coins. 169, more or less. Bro, this is insane. For Drogba, any guy, a Chelsea fan would want him. And he's actually meta in game. Every time I play him, the aerial like type of player that he is is just insane he can head of the ball he can shoot from far yeah man miko tadze i don't know how you say his name you can get this five star skilled version now he has technical plus and technical and he has amazing finishing very very nice solid agility and balance for a silver card where are we in fifa bro that is such a weird card i had to include it i was looking through evos and nah that is just insane Alessandrini, Openda, very nice cards. Let's move over to the second um, part of the cheap to medium. And these are still other cards like Isak, Jackson, that have 5 star, 5 star. We got small cards like Smolarek, um, no pun intended. We've got obviously Geyser. We've got Kandreva. Cantona is in medium to, uh, sorry, cheap to medium price. Yes, he's 500,000 coins for the best version of Cantona. This is like a cheaper Janola triple threat. Do you know what I mean? Very nice solid card. We got the likes of the bench cards right there, man. These are just amazing cards that you kind of wouldn't understand until you've used them. Why they're so great. Um, yeah, especially if you versed them in champs and you're like wondering why Zerks keeps playing so good. It's just meta, bro. At the end of the day, they have, I'd say, hidden stats. Very nice um, solid cards that have amazing stats. So yeah, end of the day, Smith is good. Okafor, we got obviously Evo, Aubameyang. Torres, he's always been a great one. Um, especially the five star skills one is always nice. That's the only one. Sorry, we got Iago Aspas and Pajor. Look at this card. For thirty five k, you can get a five star skilled, very short, very nimble beast. Basically, yeah, I'm done, bro. This, this is just too much for me, man. It took me a long time to compile this, so please hit that like, subscribe, tell me who's your favorite card. I'm not gonna even explain why these cards are great in the comments. Please just tell me who's your favorite right there. And yeah, that's been the video. I mean, look at the storage cough, bro. 5 star 5 star technical plus. Nah. There is so much of those cards, man. Benzema, I've seen... Um, well, who was it? I think it was... What's this man's name? Was it... Um, it was RTFFM. What's his name? Uh, Nick. Nick run the FUD market was using Benzema and he, he looked insane. I had to include him, man. You kind of would just know that a card would be great. Uh, we got Ham. A lot of people um, love her. And we got Pop as well. Uh, this Haaland people are saying got like a huge buff um especially post patch so if you have Haaland in your team just know he's an s tier top tier card he does everything and he kind of is the epitome of an aerial um like big striker do you know what i mean you get your obviously cheaper cards like kane um like the likes of your Gerard muller do you know what i mean but Haaland is the epitome of that uh, aerial threat and he is just insane i mean unique body type for a six foot five insane paste insane shooting striker bro very nice add an engine to boost some stats i mean add an engine bro on anything that's what my um goal in life is but yeah thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen hey i've been a boy meta mike i'm even like so tired of speaking but yeah hit the like subscribe i will catch you boys in the very next video man that has been the best meta plays in each position man cheers hey.